welcome back to my channel it's Mary renee here if you're new welcome so most of you have asked me like my previous videos if i can do a dedicated video specifically talking about the tools and the brushes that i use to apply my makeup and i thought that would be a great idea so here we are today i just want to put out there that i am no makeup artist i know how to make it work with what i have and one thing i love about makeup there are no rules so you can literally do whatever you want there's no right way or wrong way just do what works best for you and what you find comfortable for yourself also this video is a voiceover so turn up your volume and listen closely um all the brushes that i use and mention will be in the description box below i will try my best to find a link um for the brushes if i'm unable to find a link then obviously a link won't be provided but the name of the brush and the number if that's available will be in the description box below so if you were interested in seeing what i use to create this flawless beat then keep on watching All right, so I start off with my eyebrows and these are the four brushes that I use. I use the Pro Duo Brow Brush from NYX Cosmetics. One end has an angled cut brush and the other end has a spoolie. I use the angled brush end to pick up and apply product onto my brows. I line the bottom first, I line the top, and then I fill in. Then I blend out the product with this spoolie from a brush set by Isabella Scott bought from Marshalls. Most spoolies are a little rough, but I just love how this one is soft on my skin. I clean up my brows using this angled brush that came in the Isabella Scott brush set. It doesn't matter what angled brush you use, as long as it's precise and gets the job done for you. To blend out the concealer, I use this brush from Still Spa Essentials. This I've had for a while. It's a synthetic eyeshadow blender brush and it blends out the concealer really well. Next, I apply my foundation and blend it out with this Morphe sponge. This is their highlight and contour beauty sponge. You guys know how much I love this sponge and it's always damp when I apply creamy products. After applying concealer or any eyeshadow base, I blend the product out using this Japanese all over eye brush. I recently purchased it from Winners and it blends the concealer out so flawlessly on the lids. Now to set this concealer, I'm using this setting brush from Real Techniques. I lightly touch some loose powder and pat it on the lids. I also use this brush to dust away the powder after baking under my eyes, and you will see that later in the video. Eyeshadow time. I use my favorite brushes from Morphe. This is their M441 Pro Firm Blending Crease Brush. It picks up any color, transfers the color, and blends out the color really well. And that's why I love it so much. I have so many of these brushes. And when I apply a second color, I'll be using another M441 brush.
Moving on to highlighting, again, I use my Morphe Beauty Sponge. I use the flat end this time to blend out the concealers, and I use the pointed end that already has my foundation on it to help remove any harsh lines. I also use this same sponge to apply my loose powders to set and bake. As I mentioned earlier, I go in with my Real Techniques setting brush to dust away any excess powder. To set my face, I use this fluffy powder brush from Japanesque to apply my powder. It's such a soft brush, which is why I love it so much. I also use my Real Techniques powder brush, but I prefer the softness with the Japanesque brush. But overall, they both work well for me. I go in with a smaller powder brush to press the product into my skin. It's the Japanesque domed small powder brush. It also helps to get into smaller areas on my face. You guys see me do this all the time. I use this Japanesque angled brush for bronzing. It's actually a blush brush, but it works great for applying my bronzer.
to add some definition on my nose, I used this small brush that I got in a brush set from Amazon a while back. Here, I realized my camera wasn't recording this part, so that's why I have blush and highlight already on, but I had to come back and show you guys what I use and how I do it. So this brush is also from the Amazon brush set, and it's what I use to apply my blush. For some shimmer highlight, I use a fan brush from Morphe. This is their M310 Large Soft Fan Brush. It's so nice and soft and I love how it applies the highlight onto my face. I sometimes apply some highlight on my brow bone. This is a smudging brush from e.l.f. It's great because it fits right under my brows perfectly. And this small brush is also from the Amazon brush set that I mentioned. It's perfect for the tear duct area. And last but not least, I use these brushes to apply some eyeshadow onto my lower lash line. Whichever one my hand grabs first is what I will use. I don't have a preference. They both came in a brush set with other brushes from H&M. <music> For my beginners who don't know what brushes to start off with, I recommend looking into brushes from Morphe and Real Techniques. They both have amazing brushes at such an affordable price. You can also look into purchasing brush sets because they usually come with all the necessary brushes you will use on a daily basis. You can always purchase online like Amazon or purchase in person from Marshalls or Winners. Alright you guys, so this is the end of this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and I hope you guys were able to take away some tips that you can incorporate in your makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and turn your post notifications on and give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Tamara Renee and keep up with me on my blog at www.tamarabrene.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>